This video was intended for humor purposes only. No offense was intended at all. Capitalism differs wherever you go, so I'm going to be explaining them with the two cows joke, using country balls and cows, at least through recent history. Traditional capitalism. You have two cows, you sell one and buy a bull. The economy grows and you retire off the income. Australian capitalism. You have two cows, you sell one and force the other to produce the milk of four cows, being surprised when it drops dead. French capitalism. You have two cows, but you go on strike because you wanted three. Japanese capitalism. You have two cows which you redesign so that are a tenth the size and produce 20 times the milk of a regular cow. You then create clever cow cartoon images called Cowcomon and market them worldwide. There's also probably some tentacle part in there too. German capitalism. You have two cows that you re-engineer so that they live a hundred years, milk themselves, and are powered by renewable energies. You become the biggest and most prosperous economy in Europe, but America still calls you a Nazi. British capitalism. You have two cows. Both are mad. Italian capitalism. You have two cows, but you don't know where they are, so you break for lunch. Iraqi capitalism. You don't have any cows, but no one believes you, so America invades you. You still don't have any cows, but at least you're democracy now. Canadian capitalism. You have two cows, but they look more like moose. That's probably because they are moose. However, only one of them speaks English, the other speaks French. The latter moose is trying to create his own country because of this, while the other one isn't letting him. They're both pretty good at ice hockey, though. Russian capitalism. You have two cows. You count them again and find that you have 37. You count them again to find that you have 89. And again to find that you have 12. You decide to stop counting and open another bottle of vodka. America still thinks you're communist, though. Chinese capitalism. You have two cows with 300 people milking them. You claim full employment and high bovine productivity, and you arrest and attain without trial the journalists who report the number of cows that actually are there. However, those are actually cheap knockoff cows you manufacture yourself in order to compete with Western markets. Swiss capitalism. You have 5,000 cows, none of which actually belong to you. This is because you're storing them for other countries at an outrageous price, probably because you already have enough cows to build a Burj Khalifa. And last but not least, American capitalism. <gasps> you have two cows. You sell three of them to your publicly listed company. Using letters of credit opened by your brother-in-law at the bank, then execute a debt equity swap with an associate general offer so you can get all four cows back with a tax exemption for five. The milk rights of the six cows are transferred via an intermediate to a Cayman Island company secretly owned by a majority shareholder who writes who sells the rights to all seven cows back to your listed company. The annual report says the company owns eight cows, with an option on one more. You sell one cow and buy a new president of the United States, leaving you with nine cows. No balance sheet provided with a lease, the public buys your bowl. Thank you for watching this video. Once again, I didn't mean any offense with this video. I simply wanted to be able to share the two cows jokes, which are really funny in my opinion. I really hope you enjoyed these little animations. I had a lot of fun making them. There's still plenty more jokes to go around, but I really didn't want to draw and animate that much for one video. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more in the future, and I will see you on Wednesday.